Unit Two, Extreme Nature, Listening Two, Read and Listen. Volcanoes. There are volcanoes all over the Earth. They can be on land, underground, or under the sea. They can be dormant, which means they may erupt again, or they can be extinct, which means they will not erupt again. There are different types of volcanoes, and some are more dangerous than others. Volcanoes become dangerous when they erupt. Volcanoes erupt when red-hot rock called magma rises from inside the earth and comes out of a hole in the ground. Some of it flies into the air along with black ash. You can see this from many kilometers away. When the rock comes out of the hole, it is called lava, and it is so hot it is liquid. It can move across the land. Lava can destroy trees, roads, and homes. When lava cools, it becomes solid rock and forms a mountain shape. These types of volcanoes are called stratovolcanoes and are the most common type. One of the most famous stratovolcanoes is Mount Vesuvius in Italy. In 79 A.D., Mount Vesuvius erupted and completely buried the city of Pompeii. In 1883, a stratovolcano called Krakatau in Indonesia erupted, destroying more than a hundred towns and causing big changes to the environment and the climate. Mount Vesuvius is dormant and has not erupted since 1944. Krakatau erupted as recently as 2009. There are also volcanoes under the surface of the sea. These are called submarine volcanoes. If a submarine volcano erupts many times, it grows until it reaches the surface of the sea. The top forms an island. In 1963, fishermen near Iceland were surprised when they saw ash and steam rising from the sea. It was a submarine volcano. It grew, and formed an island called Circe. The Hawaiian Islands in the middle of the Pacific Ocean were also formed by submarine volcanoes millions of years ago. Now they are visited by thousands of tourists every year, even though they are not extinct and could erupt at any time. Supervolcanoes are much bigger than stratovolcanoes and are underground. They are the most dangerous of all volcanoes. You can't see them, but you can see hot water and steam rising from thousands of holes. The largest supervolcano is in Yellowstone Park in the USA. If it erupted, the explosion would cause the sky to turn very dark, and there would be black rain. A supervolcano eruption would cause our climate to change completely. The temperature across the world would fall because the ash in the air would stop heat from the sun from reaching us. Even though the eruption might only last a few weeks, these changes would last for many years. Luckily, these volcanoes don't erupt very often—only once about every six hundred thousand years.